Hello everyone. We're going to have a look at Panzer, the Road to the Rhine expansion, and uh, we're going to start off by playing one of the historical scenarios. It's interesting that there are only three historical scenarios <coughs> in the game, and I and I think by that they mean uh, probably you know exact OBs as best as they knew and things like that. Obviously, most of the other scenarios and typical of the other expansions are historical representations, just like, you know, a lock and load scenario maybe, or ASL, although ASL may have uh, more exact and specific uh, details about given battles, which would lead me to believe that there would be an opportunity to comb through those and look for more historical recreations of battles for this particular series of games. Anyway. So we're looking at the uh, uh, Villers Bocage, uh, June 13th, 1944. This is the morning scenario. It's a 20, how long is it? 20 turn scenario. And it's a couple of interesting things. Uh, as you can see, there's this enormous, enormous, can you see that? Here we go. Enormous cluster of units right here that, you know, are heavily overstacked. And if I'm reading it correctly, that's where they all need to be. And so, uh, you know, it's this kind of situation where the Brits were caught having morning tea, in essence, and uh, were surprised to see Whitman's crew of tigers advancing down the roads and uh, causing all sorts of mayhem. Now, uh, to facilitate that surprise mode, there are a couple of uh, special rules. And the first is that uh, these chaps can't move until uh, turn 10 may not fire or move until turn 10. This brigade, uh, this force uh, from the brigade, I think it's a company, let me check. Yeah, it's a company, 1st Battalion, from the Rifle Brigade. Uh, here, they can't move until turn 10, regardless, or fire. Now, the rest of the guys, uh, yeah, may not move or fire until the second turn after spotting a German unit, or turn 10, whichever comes first. So from this perspective, the, where are we? Am I, it's like I'm zoomed in, but I'm not. Uh, so here's, you know, here's the village. And, uh, and there are these other forces up here. And that's, uh, which group of guys is that? That's a squadron from 4th County London Yeomanry. And are they in the right spot? Yes, they are. Map 17. Okay. All right. So uh, they and they can't move. They can't move until the second turn after they someone spots a unit. So a couple of things that we we're, we're going to have to keep track of here is the uh, and th these guys aren't set up yet. All right, I've got to put them somewhere in these rows here. And I haven't had a good look at the map yet. So uh, well, what we need to do, what we're going to first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to use some uh, additional uh, advanced rules and optional rules. We're going to try and use the cohesion points, uh, or, as which will start uh, delivering morale adjustments and morale checks as there are losses inflicted upon either side. Now, of course, this is a very meager force, right? There's uh, literally four, five, six tiger tanks coming to town, but uh, the, the the Brits have uh, significant restrictions against them to do anything. So they're going to get a, they're going to get a free pass for a little while. And then there's some reinforcements that come in. And the objectives are to capture uh, 0.213, which is here, which begins the game in British control. So someone's going to have to pass through that hex to gain control. And then down here, if there is a, uh, a unit in the township, uh, there are victory points gained, and then obviously there are victory points gained for losses against the your opponents. Uh, okay, so to the force of controls, point two one three on the map, map seventeen. That's going to be a thousand, basically a thousand victory points, or or nine hundred and thirty victory points, depending on. And we're using the the, the optional rules, so it'll be nine hundred and thirty victory points for that side, and then four hundred if a German force of at least one Tiger tank advances into the village and occupies hex 14 h5 which is yeah right in the middle of town uh, so and then there's eliminations and all that sort of fun stuff so that's what we're going to do we're going to uh, get try and kick this off today i'm 
starting on Tuesday, hopefully, I'm playing Carthage, and so I'm kind of cramped for room here. I've got a, a new friend coming over, we're going to play Carthage. I've got the scenario mostly set up. So I'm kind of jammed into the corner over here, and we'll, uh, we'll kind of take it from there. So I'll try and provide some updates as we go along and see how the, the game progresses. Given that we're using Bacage, uh for the first time, we, you know, we may make a few mistakes and uh, potentially have to uh, restart. So good news is I won't have to move very many British pieces. All right, later. Here we go.